Hi, hi everyone. A uh, very good morning. Uh, so it's been quite a while uh, starting a, another new live session. So as we have discussed previously, so today we shall have a series of orientation lectures pertaining to NEET MDS 2019 prep, right? So we have divided the whole into four sessions if I had observed. So we'll have one session now for around 45 minutes to one hour and then a second session from 11 a.m. 11 a.m. or 11 15 a.m. accordingly and then evening we, we shall have another two sessions right uh, one at 5 p.m. the other at 8 p.m. okay so in this first session we'll focus on the basics and I'll let you know what exactly we're discussing in the process right and also if you have any further questions you can always drop a mail or you can just post them in the live chat now okay Just give me one second, right, we'll start. Okay, right, so very good morning all of you once again. Hi Srish, hi Disha, hi Komal, hi Ajaj, Dhanlakshmi, Bharati, Sophia, hi Sashi, hi Karishma, hi Purvel, Avinash, Sayali, Nihar, Mausmi. Hi, a very good morning. Right, so, uh, so I'll just give you an overview of what exactly we're discussing today, right? Uh, so we'll be focusing mainly on a few aspects. Uh, the first one is orientation to entrance. So in what way entrance orientation is different from our regular way of preparation for university exams. So that will be the focus. And it, we shall also discuss regarding various strategies to face uh, different format of questions. Of course we have multiple choice questions. Also we have image based questions. There can be questions on research and reasoning. And there can be questions on uh, statements. Uh, which is true or which is false, right? We shall have brief discussion pertaining to that. And also, we'll discuss the importance of maintaining a customized notes. So how to maintain notes, what significance it has got in one's preparation, right? So notes, high yield synopsis. And also, we shall discuss the role of social media and also whether it's really feasible to crack entrance in first attempt and how to divide subjects while you're preparing. So what kind of schedule should you be following while you are preparing for the entrance? And time management, which is very crucial and important. And also we're going to discuss about diet, the role of friends, and the power of discretion. And also, what exactly are we doing in this process of preparation? So do you see that as an opportunity or do you see this as a form of punishment? And also we shall discuss about how to design your own study room so that you can enhance your preparation and neat exam pattern we have already discussed regarding the exam pattern previously but anyways we shall have a brief overview of the exam pattern including the negative marking which was introduced recently and most importantly daily and weekly schedule so how exactly you can monitor your preparation over a period of weeks or over a period of days right so we have some schedules with us so you can use them or you can customize them according to your needs and uh, use them in order to enhance your preparation day by day, right? And also it helps in monitoring your preparation. And what is active learning all about? More or less we often rely on guides to get information. But what is this active learning? So how to learn efficiently so that uh, it will be very hard for you to uh, forget in fact. So active learning compared to passive learning. So even that we're going to discuss today. And what is the role of standard textbooks in this one year's preparation? So how exactly are we going to utilize or use these standard textbook resources in order to enhance our preparation? So even that will be the focus of today's discussion. And finally, it's all about sacrifice. So what are you going to sacrifice in order to achieve or fulfill your dreams, right? So this is the overview of our entire discussion for today. 
So we'll be dividing them into breaks and we shall have a few of these elements in each orientation lecture, right? So likewise, we'll try to cover as many topics as possible in, in, in this particular day. And also, another important announcement, we'll be having our orientation exam tomorrow. So tomorrow by 9 p.m., mostly by 8.30 p.m. or 9 p.m., we'll be having an orientation exam for our registered students. So once you give that exam, anyways, we'll update you regarding the exam, uh, the duration, number of multiple choice questions, and how to analyze your result. So all that we'll be discussing again tomorrow, right? We'll be posting you mail, right? So in fact, as for the schedule, we're supposed to have orientation exam next Sunday, but uh, I didn't see any point in postponing that until next Sunday. So it's better if you have it as soon as possible so that you can start with your uh, your original schedule. That is on Feb 4th you have oral math exam, right? So you can start right away with your preparation, subject-wise preparation, right? So once again, a very good morning, and I hope you're all doing fine. Yes, hi Shika, hi Akshaya, hi Ahmad, right. So first of all, as you can see the title of this video, Tripod Effect. Uh, so can anyone of you tell me what Tripod Effect is all about? It can be general or it can be anywhere which you have come across in our profession. Or maybe in dental photography or normal photography. So what is this Tripod Effect? We shall start with that Tripod Effect and then uh, we shall continue our discussion. Hi Amit. I count the periodontics. Okay, periodontics. Okay, uh, you mean to say while handling your instruments. I'm good, Amit. Thank you. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Good morning. Come on. So, what is this tripod effect all about? What do you mean by tripod? Sophia, Richard. Okay, it's a triangle, three-way effect. Okay, whatever it is. Uh, let me just give you a simple illustration. For example, uh, when we record uh, a movie or a video, for example, when I'm recording this video, I have this tripod. So the uh, the literal use of this tripod is to have greater balance, right? So similarly, we're using the same tripod effect while handling instruments so that there will be more and more stability, isn't it? So tripoding is all about stability. So when you are approaching or when you are practicing, it's not just for entrance, let me tell you, but when you have any project ahead of you and when you are willing to complete that on time and come out of it and achieve all the success in the process, we have these trio factors or three factors which play a crucial role in ensuring success. And based on my observation and based on my experience, I can tell you confidently that previously I used to know, I used to tell two points. Hard working, that is the first effect. So you should be able to work hard in order to achieve or fulfill your dreams. So that's the basic logic, right? One can't miss it. So without working hard, without putting the effort, you can't expect yourself to do that, isn't it? So that's one important factor to achieve success. And it's not just a one day game or one week game or one month game. It depends on the task at hand. For example, if you're going for entrance, obviously, uh, as we're saying that this is mission 12, so we have 12 months of time, around 12 months of time. So it's all about consistency, not just working hard for one day or one night or one week or one month. It's all about putting consistent performance throughout the weeks and throughout the months. And that's the greater challenge we have ahead of us. Consistency and motivation, intrinsic motivation as well as extrinsic motivation are going to play a key role in consistency. The more you are motivated, the more consistent you are. The more you are passionate about what you are doing, the more consistent you are, isn't it? So it's all about hard work, consistency. And let me just ask you this question, what would be the third factor? Okay, 
Dhan Lakshmi, yes Dhan Lakshmi, try for effort, yes for stabilization and for resisting this loss and good, yes Surajit, three points on cast we need while doing it free day, good, so we have tripod in everywhere, isn't it? can be recording a video using a cam or it can be prosthodontics, periodontics, operative dentistry. Hi Mukesh, hi Tanvir, good morning. Hi. Luck. Niharika Mukesh says luck. How many of you really think luck plays a crucial role? And thanks to negative marking, your luck levels are being shaved off. Yes, shall we? He said perseverance. Okay. Passion. Aja says passion. Bharti says time management. Hi, Gwen. Komal says discipline. Okay. Right. Yes, of course, I can't rule out all these options. But once you start implementing all of them, you have something called as confidence. With time management, you'll become more efficient and you'll become more confident and with discipline obviously you'll get your things done you'll grow more and more confident and with smart work okay uh, with passion isn't it so once you're passionate as we have discussed Rajat, so it's all about consistency so your motivation levels your passion will definitely allow you to do a particular task in a consistent manner and of course they also contribute and enable you to work hard towards your goal but the rest of the factors are very important but they only contribute to your confidence at the end of the day because once you have hard work consistency and confidence the output would obviously be a success and success will no longer be a user and it will be right in front of your doorstep so this, based on my experience and based on my observation, I can tell you confidently that it's not just about one or two factors. We have multi multiple factors which really play a crucial role. As you said, that's what I have listed out in the beginning. It's time management, diet, social media, friends, family support, uh, your passion, your dedication. Level. So there are any number of factors. But uh, once you start outlining and once you start having an overview of all these factors, you'll understand that the basic things include this you should work hard you should be ready to work hard you should be able to work hard not just for one day or two days but in a consistent manner and ultimately having just hard work and consistency and without confidence would lead to failure for sure because most often before exam we start having that apprehension even on the day of exam even though we are confident about answering things because of lack of confidence most of us stutter and stab so it's all about hard work, consistency, and confidence. So once you start building up confidence, that can be through repeated practice, that can be through uh, various other factors, as we mentioned, time management, discipline, whatnot, right? So this, I consider tripod effect. So once you have these trio factors in you, success will no longer be in use, and it will be right in front of your doorstep, isn't it? So we'll go through various other factors as we mentioned in the process of this discussion throughout the day and after discussing tripoding effect so we shall have some brief overview of our mission 12 batch so that we'll have some understanding like what exactly we're planning to do for this rest 11 to 12 months right and then we'll take up some questions we should have some kind of interaction and then we'll conclude fine hi Priti. Hi Sita, good morning. Yes, good morning Sishant. Right. So, as we have discussed previously, right, uh, Mission 12 Batch. So, we are launching this Mission 12 Batch officially from today. But we'll be having our regular exams from February 1st, week, right? So, the reason we have named it as Mission 12 is because Jan, Feb is the right time for any intern or for any person who is planning to crack entrance in an year. So we have around 11 to 12 months, which is more or less ideal in order to use this particular amount of time period to enhance your preparation and get the best results possible. In fact, let me tell you one thing frankly, 
when we were prepared. We had four and a half years of course and six months of internship. So what I felt personally is when we could use a limited amount of time like four to five months in order to prepare and crack entrance, then why not you? Obviously, you have 11 to 12 months time. We have, in fact, sufficient amount of time. I don't say it's plenty of time, but sufficient amount of time to schedule the time in a proper efficient way. And then once you start implementing that in your daily preparation, then obviously it will be just a cakewalk for you. So the reason why we placed this as mission 12 is because you have 11 to 12 months time and let's see how best we can make use of this time in order to provide you quality as well as quantity of lectures and tests. And as we have been discussing previously, we have videos and we have test series. And I'll also let you know how exactly you should prepare in a given week or in a given day. Uh, we'll be having various daily schedules or weekly schedules. So we'll discuss all that in detail. But before that, let me just give you an overview of what we'll be doing in this mission 12 batch. So the first and foremost thing, as I said, the schedule starts on Jan 21st, that is today, with our orientation lectures. And Jan 22nd, that is tomorrow, we shall have an orientation exam, right? And from there, you can start your preparation for oral path, which will be on Feb 4th. So from there, your scheduling goes on. So what we have divided, what we have done is, so in order to utilize the time in a more efficient manner, we have allotted one week for each subject. And at the end of four or five weeks, you'll be having a break. So which gives you 15 days time for cumulative preparation of these prior four or five week subjects. And then you'll have a cumulative test in these four or five subjects. Likewise, uh, so this entire comes under one module. So in a given module, you'll have four or five weekly tests, one break Sunday, that is 15 days time to prepare for these four weekly subjects again and then you'll be having one cumulative test. So all this comprises of one module. So likewise, we're having five modules almost till September. From September, we'll be having 15 days time uh, for each revision test and then we'll be having grant test. So you can just go through the schedule for more information, right? You can drop a mail or you can even check our website, ptbdacademy.com. So you'll be having on an average so in fact, those uh, subjects which are challenging, we have divided them into two, like dental materials one and two, prosthodontics one and two, conservative separate, endo separate, and also oral path one, two. So like this, uh, and oral medicine separate, oral radiology separate. So we'll split all these subjects so that you'll have ample amount of time. So around 24 subject tests are there. So you can spend uh, luxuriously one week time for each subject, right? And we'll go into the details like how to use that one week time in the later part of this series. Okay, so that's for the end of the schedule. And by the end of December, uh, and uh, I mean uh, by the end of November, you'll be having your grant test. And depending upon the uh, final exam uh, date, we'll adjust our grant test timings accordingly, right? You, you need not really worry about that. And regarding online lectures and all, so so far we have produced more than 650 uh, videos. YouTube itself, we have 369 videos, and in our e-classes, we have another 300 videos. So we are producing more and more videos, and we'll be updating more and more videos in our e-classes, and that the process is going on. So we'll be having access to more than 600 to 700 videos, and also, as we have been doing for the past couple of months, we shall continue these live sessions. So every week, we shall have two live sessions. So virtual classroom sessions, just like your classroom offline, we'll be having virtual classrooms here, Wednesday and Thursday, where we'll be covering multiple choice questions. And CQs will be the focus of this session, right? So based on the feedback and based on the time availability, we'll see if we can modify uh, the schedule and see how best we can use the two hours time. So Wednesday one hour and Thursday one hour, we shall have live sessions in YouTube. And the rest of the time, we'll be focusing on giving you videos in our e-classes, okay? And then, so we have been doing all this textbook discussion, MCQs discussion, and also image-based uh, questions and all. We have done all this for the past uh, few months, and you can find them in our e-classes as well as uh, in YouTube, okay? And the main advantage which I see with live sessions is we can have this one-to-one -one kind of interaction, and that's possible because of live, and so we shall sustain this live sessions activity. And also, along with this, in e-classes, 
we will be even providing you with key points of copy for each subject. So each subject will be having the soft copy notes where uh, various important points have been given, right? So it is downloadable and you can just take a print out and keep it alongside with your notes for each subject, okay? So that's what we are providing in online lectures and test series. We started with daily tests uh, three or four months ahead and we are continuing it. So you'll be having a daily test till the expiry of your course. That will be till your main exam. So you'll be having your daily test of five questions in cumulative fashion. That's in cumulative. There is a reason for that. We'll discuss that further again. And then you have around 24 subject tests. So we have divided all 19 or 20 dental subjects. Uh, we have split them and we have ensured that we are providing you them in form of 24 subject tests. And then you have five cumulative tests. So each module will have one cumulative test. So five modules will be having five cumulative tests. And then you'll having uh, three revision tests. So all the subjects will be divided into three, uh, three groups. And each group will have one corresponding revision test in the end. That is in September, October. And November, December will be having five grand tests. So all this makes uh, ensures that you are practicing more than 6,500 MCQs, including image-based questions. There is no doubt. Here. And unfortunately, we had only one image-based question in this recent exam. But anyways, let's not take any chances. We should have as many image-based questions as possible. We are uploading, updating our test series uh, weekly basis, right? So obviously, we'll be having more and more questions in the coming uh, weeks or coming months, right? And Obviously, those who have already enrolled would have been knowing all this. So we provide you your accounts and you can take up your tests based on your convenience. That's the greatest advantage we have. And the exam software is almost similar to that of MBA software, right? So you'll be having color coding, you'll have you'll be having question templates. So it's all simple, right? We have simplified it. And along with this, we have this study club discussions uh, only on weekends, that is on Friday and Saturday. So where we'll be discussing around 20 topics. So you'll have text-based, image-based, tables, and also voice notes. Voice notes will also be provided for you so that you can uh, listen to them wherever you are. It's all about your convenience. That's the greatest advantage you have with this online course, right? So likewise, we're planning to cover more than 1,000 topics in the given one-year slot, mission tour. So as I've been uh, highlighting, we have this convenience of watching these videos or giving tests or attending study club discussions as for your convenience. Even though we say uh, stick on to the schedule. So once you uh, follow the schedule which we have given you, it will be literally a cakewalk for you to complete the entire syllabus more or less. At least 70 to 80 percent of the syllabus by the time you reach revision test. And during revision test time and you can cover the rest of the syllabus, right? So, you have this convenience of watching videos any times, any number of times. You have this convenience of giving tests any time, as per your convenience, as I have been uh, mentioned. And also even study club discussion. So you have this flexible way of attending uh, live sessions. In fact, even live sessions, if you fail to attend, you can watch the recorded ones, right? So that's the beauty and advantage we have with this technology. So it's all about your convenience, but also we insist on following the schedule, because as I said, once you follow the schedule, it's going to be easier for you once your final exam is approaching. You'll be a lot more stress-free, right? So uh, do follow the schedule, but if you feel like you want to follow your own customized one, you're most welcome. And uh, regarding fees and all, you can drop a mail or you can even directly check our website ptbdacademy.com where we have given everything in detail, clearly, okay? And the course will be valued till the date of your exam or maybe two or three days even after your exam, right? So that you can cross check or whatever if necessary. And requirements, all you need is a decent internet connection of minimum 1 Mbps speed for browsing. You can watch, you can take up tests or attend study club discussions either from your uh, desktop, laptop, mobile, tablet or any device, any smartphone, any smart device, right? So this is the overview of Mission 12 Batch and also in brief about tripod effect so this will be our starting point so based on this we shall extend our discussion further and if you have any further questions drop them right yeah hi kp good morning hi ba good morning
Yes, Karan. Yeah, we're talking about our a new batch for NEET MBS 2019. Yes, Richard, thank you. Yes, Ajahn, in fact, we are providing our course right from the beginning. Uh, that is uh, from the orientation exam to our registered students only. So orientation exam is only for sake of having an idea on how exactly the final exam is going to be, right? It's not really strange or it's no magic. So it's a simple exam based on multiple choice questions, right? So uh, those who register to our uh, course, obviously, will be giving them access to our test series as well as e-classes. And in the test series, you'll be having your orientation exam in your respective accounts. Yes, you can drop a mail at proudtobedentist.gmail.com for more details. Or you can even check our website ptbdacademy.com. Yes, Richard, thank you for answering the question. Yes, Niha, sure, we'll consider. If you have any such questions, you can drop them from my mail, right? Yeah. Yes, Preeti, uh, we are not considering general discussion as of now, but as time progresses, we shall definitely incorporate one general live session also. As of now, we'll be focusing only on uh, the, the subject-wise discussions because we still have to complete a lot. So eventually, in the process of uh, discussions, uh, in the coming few weeks or months, we shall definitely plan one general session also. discuss a one more topic now and then we will conclude the session right yeah so the first one as I have been mentioning I'll, I'll put up the list if you want the first one is orientation yes Richard that's uh, that's a very good question how to be consistent it's so obviously uh, see when you want a push uh, you may you might not get an extrinsic motivation all the time Consistency all depends on how passionate you are towards your goal. Consistency all depends upon how intrinsic, uh, intrinsically you are motivated towards your respective goal. So once you have these factors, once you have a strong desire to win, then you need not really uh, have external push. Consistency comes within, consistency comes in an auto mode in these uh, circumstances. When you are motivated and when you see, most often we hear uh, people or uh, students saying that I couldn't study because I had some work. I couldn't literally concentrate because I'm having no interest or I'm too busy to study or I'm busy with my internship duties and all. But uh, for whose sake are we giving these kind of reasons? We're not giving these reasons in order to satisfy the other person. Obviously, we are answerable to ourselves. So why do we need all these reasons for? In fact, everyone has their own issues. It's not that only toppers have no issues and others have a lot of issues. It's all about managing your time. You can say you don't have a study partner. So does it mean you should, uh, you should destroy your preparation altogether? You can say I don't have interest. So then how exactly are you going, then why exactly do you come here to prepare for the entrance? So ask these questions for yourself. That's very important. So why am I preparing? So what is my object? How should I, or how do I want to see myself in the next one year, two years, three years, five years, or even after 10 years? And what is my driving force? Why am I planning to do PG? Why am I not stopping with undergraduation? Why am I doing my PG? Is it because I have more interest towards clinicals, or is it because I want to see myself as an academician, or is it because I want to see myself as a researcher? So what exactly is driving me? Ask yourself these questions. Get answers to these questions and you need not uh, really uh, need to have any kind of extrinsic or external motivation. As I said, it's all about dreaming big and fulfilling all your dreams. Once you dream big, once you have your dream, your goal in front of you, then you would never tell these kind of silly reasons, isn't it? In fact, uh, 
sorry to say, but these are silly reasons. If you say, I'm too busy to concentrate, I have no interest, I don't have study partner, or I'm in internship, I have a lot of work, then to whom are you giving these reasons? Maybe you, you can give me these kind of reasons and maybe uh, you can have some kind of sympathy, but ultimately you're going to get affected. So it's all about making time, creating more and more opportunities and then giving your best. And consistency comes with motivation, consistency comes with passion, consistency comes with realization that you are doing this particular task because you have greater things at stake. That's very important. So ask yourself these questions and I'm sure you'll find the answers and you'll go well without any issues forever, right? And we'll, we'll have another discussion pertaining to this orientation towards Is it a streaming? Because uh, I think the video link is broken. Is it streaming? Because I can't see anything on my uh, screen here. Okay, uh, just give me one second, right? Somehow it is appearing a black and blank for me. Okay, okay, fine. Fine, it is trim. Right, so I'll get back to your questions. I'll get back to your questions. Uh, give me uh, 10 more minutes to discuss another important aspect here. So, while we are preparing for university exam, uh, what is the normal thing we do? Just try giving me answers so that we can extend that for our uh, entrance orientation also. Okay, good. So when you are preparing for university theory exam or practical exam, so how exactly is your orientation? Like what would be your strategy? Like when do you start studying for? Give me some answers. Very good. So that's the first thing I'm expecting. Yes, shall we? Yes, shall we? You will have questions from um, orientation lecture includes questions from all the subjects, right? You need not really prepare for that. I want you to attend it without any preparation, right? So, Rajit, we'll be having different topics, right? Uh, uh, just go through the first part of the video. We have a list of topics which we'll be discussing throughout the day. We have been dividing them into a number of sessions. No, Bharati, you'll have uh, all the lectures provided to you prior. So, you'll have access to all the videos. You can watch them anytime. But the test will be on that particular day as for the schedule. Kirti, there is no as such last date. Uh, you can just uh, confirm your payment and then you can uh, take the course, take up the course as soon as possible. There is nothing like last date. But I advise you to join uh, right from the beginning, right? So that you can follow each and every part of the schedule. Yes. So obviously, the first thing we do is. Yes, Chavi starts with previous year papers, that's good. And also we try to start preparing as soon as possible, but unfortunately that never happens. We obviously start 15 days, 20 days or maximum 30 days before exam, right? We start our preparation 15 days before exam, isn't it? Yes, obviously we go with important topics as Preeti rightly said. Good, Surajit, good point. So obviously we take the support or help of our seniors and ask them, like what to study and what to not study. Yes, repeatedly asked questions. At least for one year previous papers, maybe uh, some say five years or ten years, right? 
Yes, in the limited time frame, as Sophia said, we even go for subject wise. Uh, maybe topic wise, very few, but obviously, if we have time, we even follow topic wise preparation. Yes. Okay, few follow dry topics first, followed by easy topics. Or few have this preference for completing easy topics first, followed by a difficult ones. Yes, that's what we do, Kirti. Good. So that's how we orient ourselves for university exam. So in fact, when you're preparing for entrance, it's no, uh, no big difference here. We, the first thing is, going through the last 10 or 15 year question papers for us to have an idea on how exactly the paper is being framed and also how the questions are being asked is it memory based is it logic based or is it concept based so how exactly are the questions and what questions are being asked from what topics so to have to uh, for us to have this kind of overview obviously we need to go through previous entrance papers. So that's all we are all familiar with. And the most important thing is, as few of you mentioned, that we go only with uh, the so-called important topics in case of your university exam. But do you think you have something called as important or unimportant in our entrance uh, orientation? We consider those topics which are repeating as important. But let me tell you frankly, there can be questions from anywhere throughout the syllabus. The syllabus which has been prescribed by DCI. I hope you have gone through the DCI syllabus. Uh, you can check out the website or you can drop a mail and send you the syllabus. As for the DCI 2007 regulations, uh, which will be followed for your NEET exam. So, do you think there is something called as important or unimportant? Frankly, no. There can be questions from anywhere within the syllabus. But for the sake of our convenience, we always try to figure out which are important and we try to focus on them and then we need to shift to the other remaining topics as well. So that's one important difference we find here. So in university exam you have this important and unimportant but here in entrance it's always better not to take any chances by only focusing on all the syllabus right? rather than focusing on only one important so-called topic. So there is nothing like choice here. So we need to focus on the entire syllabus even though it's very very hard we need to cover as much as possible see ideally speaking it's not humanly possible to complete 100 percent syllabus for all the subjects in one year time but the best thing is to cover as much as possible it can be 60 to 70 percent or 70 to 80 percent which depends on your prior knowledge as well but your orientation should be in such a way that there is nothing like important and important you need to cover the entire syllabus. Once you have that kind of orientation, at least you will, in the process of reaching that idealistic goal, you will be covering as much syllabus as possible. I hope you got my point, right? And also, when you're writing any question, and when you're writing any answer for a particular question in your university theory, we tend to write using our own words, depending on our prior knowledge, right? So it's all about casual writing. We have three hours time, for university theory and we give our best to write down some stuff there but entrance obviously you have this time frame so speed is important because in university exam within the given time we can alter the content of your questions we can if you have more time you can increase the amount if you have less time you can decrease the amount but in entrance there is nothing like that you need to be having a greater speed accuracy and most importantly precision these three factors are very very important speed accuracy and precision so there shouldn't be any room for ambiguity when you are attempting any multiple choice question or image based question so your preparation has to be more precise more accurate with more and more clarity that's main and that's considered to be very very important when you're orienting for exam for entrance exam so all these things you'll be understanding the process of your preparation right so beginning you might feel okay it's just about studying and uh, practicing MCQs but uh, with time you obviously realize the fact that you need to be more precise you need to be more accurate and you should have greater speed in order to attempt your given number of questions in a given time frame and all this comes with practice all this comes with practice the more amount of practice you have the better your performance is going to be because with more practice you're going to get 
more confidence. And practice is nothing but hard work and consistency, isn't it? So, accuracy, precise answering of questions, and allowing no room for ambiguity are very important, remember. And obviously, so once you are studying a particular topic, in case of university exam, we just study, we maybe we be, we'll be by hearting things or definitions and we'll be just wanting on the day of exam. But entrance obviously is all about memorizing certain things, but most importantly, we have applicable type of questions. So we need to understand the concepts thoroughly. So only once you have an understanding of concepts and simultaneously memorizing a few important uh, topics that makes your preparation complete. So it's not just about mugging up things and vomiting as if we do on the day of exam in university theory. It's all about understanding concepts and applying them if necessary, depending upon the question. And as I said, as you have been mentioning, luck also plays an important role. I, I'm sure most of you believe in luck, but unfortunately, luck factors play a very minimal role, especially with the introduction of negative market. Where is luck? So the scope for probability or luck is very much diminished. So believe in yourself, believe in the probability or believe in the point that once you start working, once you start understanding the concepts, once you start practicing the questions, applying these basic principles would obviously allow you to have greater confidence. And remember, the reason why we ask you to practice multiple choice questions is not to assume that the same questions are going to come on the day of exam. Nothing like that. The reason why we are practicing is for sake of confidence. Don't you think so? We are trying to study concepts. We are watching all these videos, attending tests. Why? Because these questions, do you think these questions are going to repeat in the final exam? No, maybe a fraction of questions, which is not going to make any difference even though. So it's all about improving your confidence. That's why, as I said, it's all about confidence. You work hard, you work consistently, you watch videos, you attend classes, you write down tests, you practice questions. All this is being done to enhance your knowledge base, ultimately to have greater confidence so that no matter what kind of question is asked in exam, no matter how it is twisted, no matter how indirectly it's asked, you can answer with confidence and ease, right? So try to understand the basic tenets of our preparation and obviously you'll do good. Right. So, in entrance orientation, the first uh, topic which I wanted to discuss, make sure that you have the speed, accuracy and precision and you should have more and more clarity on what you are doing. There shouldn't be any room for ambiguity and also thorough understanding of concepts. So the basic principles which you have already applied in your placement and place to the same, it's only a recap because all these four or five years of videos. You might have lost in touch with this way of preparation, frankly speaking. Uh, frankly, tell me how many of you really try to understand the concepts and apply them uh, in your theory exam. Practical, it's fine. But uh, talk about the definitions in prosthodontics. How many of you really understood the definitions? How many of you really understood the definition of centric occlusion? Or how many of you really did understand the tests of significance in public health dentistry? Majority of us, see I'm not trying to blame anyone. Even my situation was the same. I'm also no exception. But in the PG preparation, the first thing I realized this subject is very beautiful once you start understanding the concepts. No matter it's a definition in uh, PROSO or it can be a test of significance in public health history. So we have this habit of mugging up things in university exam and vomiting on the day of exam or reciting or telling some stuff to our external if you ask any question. But entrance is, uh, the orientation is really very diff different. It's all about your interest. It's all about your passion and dedication. Levels. The more passionate and dedicated you are, the more you'll understand the concept. And the more you'll apply it, and the more you produce the same kind of output on the day of exam. Right? So let me just keep it simple. When you're preparing for entrance, make sure that you're understanding the concepts and also simultaneously memorizing certain things which we'll discuss later. And speed, accuracy, precision, clarity, are very important when you're preparing any topic, right? So that you'll not get confused when you're answering questions. And uh, with negative marking, this has become even a greater challenge because you should be able to rule out all the options and you should be more 
confident in answering a one or selecting one particular option because of negative marking. If it is wrong, you'll be uh, losing one fourth marking, right? So if you want to really rule out the other options, you should be more uh, uh, clear in answering uh, these kind of questions. So keep these things in mind. We'll again have different kinds of interactions, different ways possible, and if you have any further questions, you can drop them at talktobeinterested.gmail.com, right? Uh, we shall uh, stop this session uh, now, and we shall continue with the rest of the topics in the coming uh, two or three live sessions, right? So I hope you got a few valid important points, and I'll briefly summarize all that we have discussed so far for five minutes, and then I'll take up your questions, and then we'll pray, okay? So as we have been discussing right from the beginning, it's all about three factors, right? So you can have your own uh, number of factors, it doesn't matter. But three factors do play a crucial role. It's all about your hard work, consistency, and your confidence levels. And also we have some overview of Mission 12. You can drop a mail or you can check our website, talktobeinterested.gmail.com or ptbacademy.com for more information. And regarding orienting for entrance, so keep in mind that this is not an easy job. And also it's not a difficult one. It is challenging, but once you start traveling in the right manner, then things will be cakewalk for you. So it's not just about mugging up things and vomiting or impressing your external or something. It's all about impressing yourself by understanding the subject. So focus on understanding the concepts wherever necessary and also memorizing few important topics or points and then developing speed, accuracy, precision with more clarity so that you can answer any question with confidence and ease. Right? I hope it's clear. Fine? Yes, we joined some rare patients also and of core seniors experience. Yes, Preeti, that's true. Important is something which is related. Obviously, when you know something, you feel that it's important because you know it. Exactly. They can ask anything in entrance from anywhere in the prescribed syllabus. Exactly, Atraj. Level of prep and practice definitely improves speed and accuracy. That's the reason why we have designed this, uh, this so-called daily and weekly schedules. Most of our students have followed them and have given us a very good feedback. We have designed these daily schedules and also a weekly schedules so that you can keep a tab on how your preparation is going on. Like how many MCQs you're practicing every day. Uh, how many hours you're spending on smartphone and also how many hours you're sleeping every day and how many hours you're dedicating for other miscellaneous activities. We have all these schedules. We're going to discuss more and more about these schedules in the coming sessions, right? So the time now is 11. So again, we shall see you by, in fact, oh, we're supposed to have the session at 12 o'clock. We shall have it by 12.15 p.m., fine? 12.15 p.m. to 1 p.m. we should have our second session for today, right? So I, I, I hope I'm not frightening you. I'm trying to put uh, the more uh, realistic picture as much as possible. And if you feel that you're getting frightened, do let me know. I'll put that in a more uh, soft manner possible. Yes, we have, we have these schedules in our Google Group. I know you good morning. Yes, Chavi, you're most welcome. Right? So so far we're we're done with a few important topics now. So in the coming sessions we shall cover the rest of the topics, right? So see you again by 12 15 pm. Okay? Yeah, see you. Bye.